happening right now this weekend. 17 library branches are coming together to host a multicultural celebration of both children and literacy. And here with more on El Dia de los Niños and El Dia de los Libros, Deborah Hassey. Nice job. Thank Thanks, you. Adam. <laughs> I want to make sure I nailed that this time. Exactly. Tell us about what these actually are. Are they a combined event uh, that are celebrated here in the area? Dia de los Niños, Dia de los Libros is a celebration of children, families, and reading okay. that emphasizes the importance of literacy for children, no matter their linguistic or cultural background. So this is also done that nationwide, and, and it's, a, it's a neat way to encourage kids to really think about not only what they're studying now but their future. Exactly. It's it's a really fun event that combines literacy with multiculturalism and it's it's an it is a nationwide event mm -hmm. and it has been adopted by the American Library Association so it's it's all over the place. So how are we celebrating here in the Valley? In uh, the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Library mm -hmm. at 17 of our locations we're celebrating a week-long event starting mm -hmm. this Friday the 24th going all the way through the 30th um, but DIA is really more just about a week. It's about an entire year. So this spirit of Dia, we encourage families to celebrate all year long. How did this all get started? Was it was there some was there concern over or literacy and, and that kind of thing in our schools? It, it's actually a very interesting story. Um, Dia de los Niños, Dia de los Libros, or Dia, mm -hmm. um, was begun. It's sort of an enhancement of the National Children's Day, which began in the 1920s mm -hmm. as a multinational effort um, that didn't really take off in the United States, but it really took off in Mexico, which celebrated it on April 30th. Mm. And in the United States, we really didn't do anything with it until author Pat Mora heard about it in 1996, and she suggested celebrating Children's Day, but bigger, mm -hmm. expanding it into something that celebrated children, literacy, and multiculturalism. And mm -hmm. so in 1997, Dia was born, and it was celebrated in Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico. Oh, fun. Two years later, it really took off, and libraries across the country started celebrating it. So we really have kind of a piece of the early part of we the do. history here. All right, what do we what do we look forward to this weekend? What can kids participate in? Well, during this week and weekend, I we, should say. Right, yeah. starting this Friday, um, every library is hosting um, a multicultural Dia event, mm -hmm. which features storytelling, music, or other special events for children and their families. Um, and at the end of every event, while supplies last, children can take a free book home to keep. Oh, neat. And is this all ages? What kind of ages will be represented at these We are encouraging young children to come. Many of our events are happening during the school day, so there are a few events happening on the weekend, but many of our events are happening um, during the school day. There are some school groups coming to some of our events, mm -hmm. but for the most part, it's children... Uh, young children with their families. So I, we've got an infant at home, oh, and perfect. maybe parents would like to participate in this too, I would imagine. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We really want to get the entire family involved with celebrating the DIA events. And then again, we really want to encourage families to celebrate this all year long. Uh, specific times when these events are going on? They kind of range throughout the day. Yeah. yeah. And so it's all on our website. And so uh, families can check and see what's happening in their area. Yeah, and the full list is there. I, you know, I, we were just talking about technology and how much it's advanced here a little bit earlier in the in the last hour, and you know how science has evolved, and we're kind of at the point where now you don't even have to have hands on. So it's neat to see kids still in books, reading pages and paper versus using maybe the notebooks or whatever. I am convinced that the print print books will never die oh. and storytelling has been around since you know we were writing on cave walls so <laughs> that's not going away either and really you haven't really lived until you've listened to a storyteller relate a story to you personally. I imagine that some of the events that you've got coordinating to this week and this weekend are really creating a sense of community too among the families and the kids that show up because there's some camaraderie there too. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of our families come to storytime events on a weekly basis and they really get to know each other and you know fa foster some good fa friendships. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, one more time where we can see a full list and learn more about all of these events for DIA. For a full list, you can check out our, our website, abclibrary.org, and okay. uh, it's on the DIA page, so look there. And we've got a link, too, on our website, krqe.com. You can just click under the KRQE links, learn more about how you can celebrate DIA with your family. Thank you so much, Deborah. Appreciate You're it. It's so good to have welcome. you here. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.